Today, I have a question from Marnie. And Marnie asks a question. She says, does regular drinking dull your sense of smell and taste? And this is such a good question. Let me talk about smell a little bit first, um, because the research that I found, regular drinking and drinking in general dulls your brain's ability to receive input from all of your senses. So that includes smell and taste. But we can talk very specifically about smell and taste. So in terms of smell, I just want to share my own personal experience before I get into the data and the research. When I, I didn't even realize that, you know, I had to put my nose right up to a glass of wine and kind of move it around to get the aroma to come out in order to really smell the wine. After I stopped drinking, I could smell wine from across the room, still can. It's like, wow, that's so powerful and so potent. So I'm absolutely convinced from my own experience that yes, it definitely dulled my sense of smell. But the research backs this up as well. And we can talk about smell and taste. There was a study of 3,519 men and women, they were age 40 plus, and four plus drinks a day certainly impaired taste across the board. And there was a few different reasons for it. There's nerve endings on your tongue that alcohol over time eroded and damaged, and so it actually damaged the nerve endings in your mouth. And um, so that damage to nerve fibers impaired taste. But there's two other things that happen. So it's interesting because that impairment of taste is going to impair taste of everything all the time for, for you know, until they're healed, if they even can heal. This wasn't clear from this study. But then also drinking in excess increases, it, it has a really high prevalence of vitamin B1 deficiency. And vitamin B1 deficiency damages central regions of the brain that are very important for smell and taste. So again, that is exactly what happens is your, your deficiency goes down and that part of your brain that is important for smell and taste go down overall. And so really three ways, you know, damaging the nerve abilities, bringing down your B1, which damages parts of your brain responsible for smell and taste. And then the third way is just the very fact that your neurons fire slower when you're drinking or you're drunk. And so in the moment of being drunk, you can't taste or smell as well as you could before you were drunk. So it's interesting because that way is very specific to like when you're actually drinking, but then the other two ways are actually ongoing. So it's not just when you're drinking that alcohol can damage your smell and taste, it's actually ongoing that it can damage your smell and taste over time. Um, pretty severely is what it looks like from these studies. So anyway, that was a great question. Thank you so much, Marnie, and have a wonderful day. Did you miss this Naked Mind Live? And do you maybe have a little bit of FOMO? But don't worry, I've got you covered. In fact, I had the entire event professionally recorded and it's available digitally. Transformation in your living room. Yep, that is what it's all about. You can grab your digital ticket at thisnakedmind.com forward slash digital ticket. And as always, rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast as it truly helps the message reach somebody who might need to hear it today.